Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to use the squeeze theorem to show that the limit as x approaches zero of the square root of x cubed plus x squared times the sine of pi over x is equal to zero. We're asked to do this by illustrating the functions f, g, and h in notation of the squeeze theorem on the same screen. So for our function, the square root of x cubed plus x squared times sine of pi over x, the values of this um, function, part of the function rather, uh, we don't really need to know, right? We can know that maybe it goes off to infinity or negative infinity or does something, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we have sine here. And sine, with anything inside of it, balances between the values of negative one and one. So we know that the greatest value of this will have was 1, and the lowest value this will have is 0. So we know that this function will be less than or equal to, for all values of x, the square root of x cubed plus x squared. Either sine of something is equal to 1, and they're equal, or any other value of sine is going to be less than. However, it's greater than or equal to negative x cubed plus x squared. Because for if sine of some value of x is equal to negative 1, then these are equal. And in all other situations, this is going to be less. Let's see a representation of that. Right, We're asked to graph this. So if we have these functions, in purple we have the square root of x cubed plus x squared. And in black, we have the negative square root of x cubed plus x squared. And if we graph our function, we can see that it bounces between, like we said, at its greatest point, it's equal to the purple function. At its lowest point, it's equal to the black function. And it just bounces between them. And therefore, if we can say that the limit as x approaches 0, the square root of x cubed plus x squared is equal to 0, which we can say be 1 because of the graph that we just saw, and 2 because if you just plug in 0 here, you're going to get it equal to 0. And also, the limit as x approaches 0 of negative the square root of x cubed plus x squared is also equal to 0. These two things are equal, right? The limit of these two functions. And near zero, and at all values, but especially near zero is where it's important, this function is in between the two functions whose limit as x approaches zero goes to zero. We therefore know that the limit as x approaches zero of our function x cubed plus x squared times sine of pi over x is equal to zero.